John the Mouse. Blue flax grows 18 to 20 inches tall, but leans at an angle. Flowers are pale blue with five petals, about one to one and a half inches across. Veined in darker blue, the seeds produced on the lower flowers while leaving those above continue to bloom. The young stem is leafy as it matures, but will gradually lose most of its leaves. Leaves are narrow and about three quarters of an inch long. Purple Prairie Clover. It is unbranched and grows to about three feet tall. Older plants may send up multiple stems, creating a bushy effect. The central stem is slightly rigid and hairless. They consist of three to seven leaflets and tend to be quite short, approximately two to five inches long. Each leaflet is dark green, linear in shape, and about one inch long and an eighth inch across. Each purple flower is about a fourth of an inch across, with small petals and five golden anthers that protrude outward. Black-eyed Susan. Flowers have a colorful golden yellow, single petals that are often two to four inches across with dark black centers. They bloom with eight to 21 yellow-orange gray florets and dark purple to brownish disc florets. The disc is up to an eighth of an inch across. Showy partridge pea is a plant that reaches a height of one to three feet. Showy yellow flowers grow two to four together in a cluster on a stem, about an inch across. The leaves consist of 10 to 16 pairs of small, narrow leaflets that are somewhat delicate to touch. Flowers normally bloom July through September. Lance leaf tick seed grows in a small clumps, but forms extensive colonies. It is one to two and a half feet tall and has leaves three to four inches long. Some of the leaves are deeply cut, almost forming three leaflets. Flower heads are yellow, one to one and a half inches across. The yellow center or disc flowers stand out distinctly from the ray flowers, which appear to be attached just below them. Indian grass is a warm season perennial bunch grass. It grows three to seven feet tall. The leaf is about three feet long. It blooms from late summer to early fall. The spikelets are golden brown during the blooming period, and each containing one perfect floret that has three large yellow stamens and two feather-like stigmas. One of the two blooms at the base of the spikelets are covered in silky white hairs. The flowers are cross-pollinated by the hair. Lemon mint. When crushed, the leaves emit an odor resemblance of lemons, especially late in the season. Its purple flowers are highly attractive to butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds. Rosy red yarrow, a reddish pink cluster-like flowers. The plant tolerates a wide range of soils and climates. It can somewhat be aggressive. This perennial yarrow blooms in the summer and is colorful addition when planted with other yarrows in or around other flower mixtures. Side oats grama is a warm season grass. The flowering stems are 12 to 39 inches tall and have alternative leaves that concentrated in the bottom of the comb. The leaves are light green to blue green in color and up to a quarter inch across. The flowers bloom in summer and autumn. Little blue stem or bearded grass is a North American prairie grass native to most of the United States. It has always been in the Midwestern prairies. Little blue stem is a perennial bunch grass. It is a warm season species that grows to become upright, roundish mound of soft bluish green or grayish green blades in the May and June and is about two or three feet tall. In July, it starts to send up its flowering stalks until it gets to be about four to five feet high. In the fall, it displays a good coppery 
or mostly orange color with tints of red or purple. Sometimes it displays in some places, as in sandy soils, a more red color. In winter it becomes more orangish bronze until it becomes more tan. Western wheatgrass. Though the common nickname is red joint wheatgrass from the red coloration from the knobs. This is a sod forming perennial grass which is native and common throughout most of North America. It grows in the grasslands in the prairie of the Great Plains whereas sometimes the dominant grass species. It is the state grass of North Dakota, South Dakota and Wyoming. It is a valuable forage for animals such as bison, black-tailed prairie dogs, and it is good for grazing livestock. For low-maintenance lawns, wheatgrass generally tolerates mowing to four inches, but does not tolerate the shade. Clasping coneflower, or clasping leaf coneflower, is a smooth-stemmed annual coneflower, two to three feet tall, with a terminally solitary flower heads. The leaves are oblong with heart-shaped clasping bases. The flower petals with its reddish purple bases are numerous and droop away from the dark, elongated, cone-shaped center. Bishop's flower, an erect bunching annually, easily established from seed. Native to North of Africa, it has naturalized throughout much of the United States. The plant produces abundance of large rounded five to six inch flower heads made up of small snow white florets. Does not seem to be temperamental about soil conditions, but does require full sun. Perennial lupine, a hard laid perennial native to Maine and southern Ontario, extending westward through the central and midwestern regions of the United States, south to Florida. Flowers are arranged on an upright spikes, varied by color from deep blue to purple shades. Requires a dry, well-drained, sandy or gravelly soil in the full sun. Cannot tolerate heavy soils. A very adaptable and versatile species. Gloriosa daisy, an annual flower also known as the black-eyed Susan, orange coneflower, a prairie native. The glorious daisy dazzles with vivid colors in the combinations of red, yellow, and orange shades, offset by the dark brown centers. A great for cut flowers, prefers cool weather. Purple coneflower, a perennial with smooth two to five feet stems and long lasting lavender flowers. Rough scattered leaves that become small towards the top of the stem. Flowers occur atop of the stem and have domed purplish brown spiny centers and drooping lavender rays. An attractive perennial with purple drooping rays surrounded by a spiny brownish center disc. The flowers are used to make extremely popular and supposed to help strengthen the immune system. The extract is also available in tablet or liquid form in pharmaceuticals or health food stores. Often cultivated, the purple coneflower is a showy, easy to grow garden plant. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view. Just press on the button. And if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.